Hey kids, let's read Barney's Night Before Christmas. The day before Christmas was a wonderful day at Hannah's house. Outside, fluffy snowflakes danced in the winter wind. Inside, the house was filled with friends and the yummy smell of cookies baking in the kitchen. I have a question, said Baby Bop, as everyone decorated Hannah's house. Santa fills our stockings with goodies, but who fills Santa's stocking? Why don't we fill Santa's stocking? asked Barney. Everybody agreed to make special gifts for Santa and Mrs. Claus. After they finished making the gifts, Hannah showed them her new snow globe. Now, said Barney, let's look at Santa's house in the snow globe and use our imaginations. Suddenly, the friends found themselves outside of Santa's house. Check it out, said BJ. We're at the North Pole. That's right, said Barney. Follow me to Santa's house. Inside Santa's house, Barney and the children filled the stockings while Santa slept in his favorite chair. Just as they finished filling the stockings, Baby Bop sneezed, ah-choo, and woke Santa up. Barney, laughed Santa. It's good to see you again. Santa knew everyone's name because they were all in his book of good girls and boys. Santa let Barney and his friends look around his house before they walked over to his toy factory. Santa stayed behind to finish getting ready for Christmas, but Mrs. Claus greeted them by the toy factory train ride. How wonderful to see you, said Mrs. Claus. All aboard, called Barney. The toy factory was filled with marvelous machines and special toys for girls and boys all over the world. Are you having fun? asked Mrs. Claus. We are, laughed Barney. This is super de duper. After the train ride, Mrs. Claus asked everyone to help wrap some Christmas presents. Ay, 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 said BJ. This is harder than it looks. Soon, Santa came to join them, and he had a surprise for Mrs. Claus. Someone filled our stockings with wonderful presents, he laughed. It was Baby Bop's idea, said Barney. Santa gave Baby Bop a very special gift to say thank you. Look, giggled Baby Bop. It's a music box with a real ballerina. It's time for us to go home, said Barney. Thank you for everything, Santa. We hope you and Mrs. Claus have a very Merry Christmas. The children looked into the snow globe, only this time they saw Hannah's house. Let's use our imaginations again, said Barney. Suddenly, Barney and the children were back at Hannah's house, just in time to hear happy holiday songs being sung by Christmas carolers. After the others had gone home, Hannah hung her stocking by the fireplace. I think this has to be the best Christmas Eve ever, she said. I think so too, said Barney. Later that night, Barney heard sleigh bells jingling in the air. Hannah, Barney whispered, Santa's coming. And even though Hannah was asleep, she smiled a special Christmas smile. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for our next story, How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Bye-bye.